Uh, my name is Darren and I'm mid 40s and I always grew up skateboarding. I gravitated towards skateboarding because all the other kids were playing team sports. They were playing soccer and they were playing football. And I was a bit anti-team sports. I didn't really want to wear a uniform on the weekend. And I more enjoyed the sort of personal achievement that skateboarding gave me. And it was a bit daring. And as a kid, I wanted to be a bit daring. I wanted to be a risk taker. So that's what I gravitated towards. Before Elwood Bowl was built, this is what we used to skate. This is the Elstonwick Life Saving Club. And it's a brutalist dream, as in it's made of nothing but concrete. We had these big bank sides, we had stairs, we had handrails, we had curbs in the car park. It was something for all levels of skateboarding. And you were very rarely kicked out of Elstonwick Life Saving Club. Like obviously in winter, no one is down here. You can run amok. And so that's what we did. And that's how we all started skating. That's how we all developed friendships. As well as skating Elstonwick Life Saving Club, we all skated here, Elwood High. A lot of kids, skaters in the area, all went to Elwood High. And there were great stairs here. There were little embankments and all that. And it was great fun. And so it wouldn't be uncommon for 10 or 15 kids to be here on the weekend, skating benches and learning new tricks. And it was a great time. Great school to skate in. All these things start in suburbia with a bit of a grassroots petition campaign. So we all signed petitions, all the local kids, and obviously a lot of the parents who wanted their kids to have something to do. And so we would sign these petitions and they would hold council meetings where there would be all these miscreant skateboarders there petitioning their case, pleading for this bowl to be built. And this went on for months, it might, might have gone on for years. See, this space behind you used to be a BMX track and kids used to ride BMXs in the 80s because BMX was the trend of the time. But when BMX faded out and the, and the BMX track fell into disrepair, we petitioned to get skateboards built because skateboards were what we were at. We were all skateboarding and that's what we wanted to do. And so after many months of us petitioning the council and signing forms, they built these two bowls. This is the large capsule bowl and this is the small capsule bowl. Both these bowls, not the best built things in the world. They have a bit kinks, they're a bit lumpy, but because we all grew up skating unorthodox terrain, we skated the Elstonwick Life Saving Club, we skated Bogdan's Ramp. This was second nature to us, so we all developed massive skills here. And this is what grew the old skateboarding scene. And this spot here where I'm standing is where Bogdan used to ride in and he used to fly out here, this exact point, fly up eight feet in the air over barrels. But I spent 10 years of my youth at this bowl, breaking limbs. And it was a great time, it was a great time.